guys, so by the title of this video, you can probably tell, or guess, or estimate, or guesstimate, what, that I'm sick again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've been sick so much in the past, like, two or three months. I don't know, but I feel like poop on a stick. Why did I say stick? Anyways, so today's also a currently reading video, so I'm just going to show you the three books I'm currently reading. Why am I reading three books at the same time? I don't know. Why not? Let's try to fix this hair up a bit, guys. So the first book I'm currently reading is A Briefer History of Time by Stephen Hawking. You've probably heard of A Brief History of Time uh, because it is like it was his breakout novel, I believe, and it's about physics and science. Physics is a type of science. Okay. Um, I know you guys all know that. I don't know why I said that. Okay, but anyways, um, I'm on page 50. I'm really loving this so far. Physics is just so interesting. I've learned so much, and I just I love this. This is great. Um, I've started it a while ago, but the reason I'm, I'm kind of just reading it silly because some of the information is a bit hard to swallow because some of the concepts are, like, mind-blowing, but at the same time kind of hard to wrap your head around. But I'm understanding it pretty well just trying to go through it slowly so I make sure I absorb all the information I guess you could say I'm on a bit of a science book kick because I also picked up the magic of reality how we know what's really true by Richard Dawkins with illustrations by Dave McKean so this book not less sciencey I get well I guess in a way because it's more about reality and that is science but I don't know how to explain it it's not as there aren't as many, like, theories he explains. It's kind of hard to explain. But this more explains how we perceive reality and stuff like that. It's really interesting so far. I actually started it before, but I just forgot I was reading it and didn't continue. But now I'm on page 26. I'm really enjoying it. I really like learning about this stuff. So, yes. And then now the final book I'm reading is, let me show you the book, is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I talked about this in my library haul, which is the last video I uploaded if you want to check it out. Um, this book is about this girl whose friend kind of just leaves for the summer. Like, she just disappears. She doesn't know where she went. No one knows, really, but no one even knows she's gone, which is really weird. How do people not notice? I don't know, but her friend that disappeared was the one who really pushed her to always try new things, got her out of her comfort zone, and she felt more comfortable being herself and talking more with, like, her friend by her side. So when her friend leaves, she's kind of, like, uncomfortable in, like, social situations. Story of my life. Then her friend leaves her this summer bucket list of things she has to do during the summer, so girl starts to do them. The main character thinks that if she uh, gets all these things done, then her friend will come back or she'll meet, see her friend again. And I'm guessing that's what's going to happen because that'd be pretty sad if nothing happened in the end. But I'm on page 131, so I'm dead far through. I'm really enjoying this book so far. It's really, really good. Um, I think the friendship is a bit too much. Like, No one relies on their friends like that much. To, like She's like living her only it's like she only lives when she's with a friend and i think that is a bit too much the friendship but i'm still really enjoying the book so what can you do so yeah those are the three books i'm reading what i plan to do today read it's friday so i can be sick and then have the weekend but i'll not be sick for sunday because i have a speech competition and i don't want my voice to be like <laughs> when i speak Okay, but that's it for this quick little sucky video. I'm so sorry. This, it's, it sucks. Let's be real. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. It was the saddest goodbye ever. Okay, bye.